You're allowed to discharge yourself on the metal ball. Welcome to episode 11 of our information series, Basics of Electrostatics. Okay, Michael, today is the episode you were probably looking forward to the most. In this episode, we want to charge you up again with high voltage. Therefore, we brought an insulated stool. I will place it on the floor for you. Michael, please stand on the stool. Here we have a beautiful flower made of paper. This tells us whether Michael is charged or not. Please take these in your hand. And then we have our mini flocker here again. The small high voltage generator with the big power. And on the front there is a ball electrode. Which you may now touch. And with that we will charge you up. And as we can see, Michael is perfectly charged. And when I take the high voltage generator away, Michael stays charged until he discharges himself somewhere. You may use my elbow for this. Ah, I'm elbow. <laughs> that was the first part. But because I think that was way too boring, I thought of something more spectacularly. For this, I have brought a metal ball which is mounted isolated. With this high voltage cable, I connect the ball to the gas burner. Then we take a grounding cable and we connect it to the gas nozzle. So I will turn on the gas, but firstly I will charge you up. As soon as that is done, you can discharge yourself on that metal ball here. Don't worry, it's not dangerous. So Michael should now be charged again. I turn up the gas flow a little bit, and you're allowed to discharge yourself on the metal ball. Here we go. So, so, you can step down now. Can I, finally? Nice. So, as you have seen from this example, you don't need to be afraid of high voltage. You just need to know how to handle it. We can even harmlessly charge a person with 70,000 volts. But what we also saw was that when we work in an explosive area, we need to wear conductive shoes. Because if I am isolated as a person, for example, by a rubber sole of a sneaker, then it can happen that I charge myself as a person. And what happens then has been impressively shown by this experiment. We can very easily ignite such a gas burner only with a charged person. Well, I experienced it myself. It doesn't hurt at all. It just sparkles. And as you saw, it can be quite dangerous. But it was a great experiment. Thanks for that. If you liked the episode, don't forget to like and subscribe in order to not miss future episodes. So, until the next episode of the Knowledge Series, Fundamentals of Electrostatics. Until then,